Hey everybody, this is Peter. Welcome to uh, what should be the second episode of Peter Talks. Or what the hell am I saying? Peter's Corner. This is Peter Talks. That's that's a completely different show. Uh, no, that one doesn't exist. So, hey, if your name's Peter, oh my god, another phone call. This is ridiculous. Elaine. What's up, Elaine? Yes, milk. Sure, yeah, just the necessities, apparently. Lettuce, milk, and tomatoes, she wanted. Okay, go for, go for the other stuff. Bye. Sorry about that. Um, that was my mom. Uh, she's buying my grandma groceries. Uh, so anyways, this episode is about, uh, what's, much more who's it? Nostalgia, right? And that's a, I put part one, because I might talk about this in the future, and I probably will, because it's, it's a good topic I could just always talk about when I feel like it. And, uh... And there's just so much to say, you know, because there's, uh, I guess I'll just talk about nostalgia and then maybe get into some nostalgic stuff in my life. But uh, I think, I mean, I'm just going to overuse the word nostalgia so much because I can't even come up with a replacement for it, so you'll hear me say that a lot. But nostalgia, I think, I think it's really cool. I think it's like, it gives you some sort of appreciation for life, which, which sounds really deep, and that's not what I'm about, but uh. It's cool, you know. It's like when you look back on certain things, and you, and you know, it, like it could be the stupidest type of stuff. Nostalgia. That that's the point. It's like the stupid, pointless things that you look at and you smile and you're like, wow, you know, that's that's awesome. I'm glad. I'm glad I lived through that. And uh, and one thing I like to imagine is that right now, something about my life is is gonna be nostalgic in the future, which uh, I don't know, but helps me live for the moment and really. Uh, I don't know, it keeps me happy or something, and I think a lot of people should look at life that way, that right now, in the future, you'll be looking at back, looking back at these times and saying, man, you know, this is great. I'll, I don't know how old you people are. I'll assume you're my age. I'm 16 right now, uh, junior in high school. So, you know, that's that. And so, the nostalgia stuff I talk about is usually, you know, from 10 years, 10 years of age to younger, but, you know, there's still stuff that, like, even... Even last year, or maybe not last year, there's a lot of video game nostalgia stuff. I'm not really going to talk too much about that, because that's probably been done a lot. But Red Dead Redemption, first of all, uh, just a really nostalgic game for me. And that's like a newer game, and that's only two years ago, or maybe three years ago, I don't know. But uh, I don't have time to think about that right now. But the point is, you know, that's a recent thing, and that's nostalgic. And uh, my brother recently, who was in college, when he was here during the summer, he was playing that, and I got to watch him, and I really enjoyed it. And it was really like a blast from the past. Just watching him play through the story, because I, you know, I, I would just go down there and watch him play, and it, you know, it'd be good, uh, good time spent with him. But also, just you know, uh, appreciating this old thing that I spent so much time playing. It was like my first really big PlayStation 3 game. I guess Bioshock was actually Bioshock 2. But uh, yeah, other nostalgic stuff. Uh, Silly Putty, right? And th this is I'm mentioning this because. Uh, because I actually, uh, two days ago, I had some money for that I could spend on Amazon, so I was like, alright, what do I want to buy? So I just bought some Silly Putty, because I saw it, I'm like, hey, why not? Because Silly Putty is fucking awesome. You could do whatever with that stuff, because you could, you could, it's fun to play with, it's like Play-Doh-ish, but then you could roll it up into a ball and bounce it, that's always fun. So I'm, I'm gonna bring that to school and get a lot of, <laughs> a lot of attention. Ah, uh, you gotta love school. You gotta love the mindless people. Uh, that you could just, I'll just bring Silly Putty there. Last year I brought Boppets there. Boppets are another, uh, nostalgic thing. But last year I brought Boppets, everyone was like, oh, let me play Boppets with you. Now, I'm bring, now I'll bring Silly Putty. Uh, yeah, they're stupid. But yeah, I just ordered that. And the great thing is, I actually have this home video that, uh, I recently recorded with my Hawpog, which is how I record this gameplay that you're watching. I don't know what game it'll be. Um, like I always say. But yeah, I had this home video, and it's like Christmas when I was 10 years old. Not even, what am I saying? I'm making up ages now. I was probably four years old, which is young. And, uh, you know, really young. And I open my present, and it's Silly Putty. And I, I turn to the camera, and I give the cutest smile ever. I mean, I was an adorable child. You would you would be jealous. I'm the type of child that like you see on the commercials and stuff. And I gave the cutest smile, me holding that Silly Putty. That was a Silly Putty commercial right there. And you know what? I sold myself the product. Because I was thinking about that, I watched it, and then I went out and bought ten dollars worth of three silly putty eggs on Amazon. So you know what? That they should be they should be paying me for making that home video because yeah, that was legit the cutest smile ever. I wish I could show you guys. I probably can. Maybe I will. I don't know. Putting baby footage on YouTube just seems a little weird to me. Um, but yeah, that's that's a nostalgic thing to me. Camp. 
And uh, this is something Blobwee, and I guess, I don't even know, but uh, our other friends, Fritzy Boy, Lukey, who used to post here, I don't know, maybe they will in the future. But uh, yeah, Blobwee, especially. We'll, uh, we used to go to this camp, right, and we stopped around 8th uh, grade, we had to stop. Summer going into 8th grade, maybe. I'm not too sure what year it was. But uh, yeah, it was just like a local town camp, it wasn't like a sleepaway thing. Where we just go there at like nine in the morning, get back at we go to the pool for an hour after that, and then just get back I don't know one two ish, and uh, we had some classic times there. And it's not the type of nostalgia I've really relived yet because I haven't really gone to the park. Uh, it's called Jarrow Park that the camp was at. I haven't really gone back. I mean, I go there and stuff, but I haven't really gone back there during camp time and just seen the kids playing. So I it's not like the type of nostalgia I've really relived like I do with the silly putty. But uh, I could tell it's just one of those things I think back and I'm like, man, those were some classic times. Because uh, we used to, I don't know, there's this, our favorite camp counselor, Kyle, such a badass guy. I don't know what he's doing with his life now. He was a, uh, you know, he was a good guy. I'm not sure, I don't, I don't want to talk about him anyways. But yeah, he was, a, he was just a great camp counselor. We'd always play dodgeball and stuff. And we were like his favorite camp, <laughs> camper sounds, such a, some sound, sounds like such a weird word. But you know, that's, I guess that's the term. We were like his favorite kids there. And you know... Um, we just had like the coolest times there, and you know, every day was like a different thing that we could just talk about. Like I'm sure me and Blob, we could go on for hours on a commentary, just be like, oh, remember that time at camp we were, we were uh, having that water war, and you know, we went and we had uh, and we had all those water balloons, and we just threw them all at Carlos, who was the other during our last year, he was a camp counselor, like an assistant one. I don't even know what was up there. He was a weird guy, very weird guy. He was like he represented like the new generation. As we left, he kind of came in, but I'm not sure if he's working there anymore. Um, another nostalgic thing. I'll I'll do one more. Uh, this is I don't know. This is probably too similar to camp. So I'll definitely do a second part of this nostalgic commentary. Maybe even four parts or ten parts or sixteen billion parts. Um, uh, doubtful. But elementary school, and I think a lot of people can agree with this. That I I actually live from my house. I could see my elementary school. It's not like a hill. It's like it's right next to me, legit. And it is just the most fascinating thing to think that I used to be so tiny that I could fit in that school like all those other kids but it's awesome I just love it I love watching because sometimes on days that I'm sick or something I love looking at the kids playing during recess because from my house you could see the back where like the jungle gym is and stuff and I sometimes I see them during field day which was like a day uh, towards the end of the summer where everyone goes out and they there's like these races and stuff which is fun you know it's like a it's like a little I don't even know what to call it it's like field day I'm sure uh, some of you have experienced that then there's something called the Strawberry Festival. It's just like school festival. Every elementary school in the area has it. But, uh, you know, whenever our school has, uh, has it during the end of the year also, I get to go outside and I see it. Sometimes I go there too. I'm a little old for that now, but it's still fun to look at. And it's still fun to enjoy. And you hear, like, the DJs, because uh, they had the same DJ all the time, you know, yelling. Because you, could, you could hear from my house. And it's just, it's such a cool feeling thinking about when I used to be young and uh, how many fun times I used to have there. And all my teachers and all my friends and stuff, who I still know, of course. Of course, Blobby, everyone, you, so UFO. Yeah, yeah, they all went to my elementary school. That's where we met. Um, but yeah, definitely more nostalgia talk. Because um, it's fun for me. I'm not, I don't know how fun it is for you. Maybe you could talk about some nostalgic stuff that you, have, that you know in particular. But uh, otherwise, thanks for watching.